Low carb and keto aren't the same thing. And if you're considering starting a keto diet or therapeutic ketosis to treat mental illness or another medical condition, you'll need to know this. I'm Dr. Brett Schur, and it, it's all too common to read headlines about low carb, making it more likely to have a heart attack or even die prematurely. I mean, let's face it, that sounds scary. If I thought keto would kill me, I would definitely think twice about using ketosis to help treat depression or bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia, ADHD, dementia, or even diabetes. But we all need to know that these reports have nothing to do with ketosis, and here's why. Often these headlines refer to low carb as less than 40% of your daily calories from carbs, which is quite frankly ridiculous to call low carb. For, for a 2000 calorie diet, that's 200 grams of carbohydrates per day, which is more than someone on a ketogenic diet eats in a week, let alone a day. Low carb is really defined as anything less than 130 grams of carbohydrates per day, or less than 26% of your calories from carbohydrates. And, and that kind of makes sense because the average American eats well over two or 300 grams of carbs per day and over 50% of their calories per day from carbohydrates. But even that isn't the same as ketosis. Ketosis refers to a specific change in your body where you're burning fat primarily for fuel instead of glucose. And you create ketones in the process and then your brain can use these ketones to more efficiently produce energy. Now, this is the spot where emerging research indicates someone can see benefits for their brain health with improvements or even resolution of their psychiatric symptoms. Low carb isn't enough to achieve the metabolic state of ketosis. So most people need to eat less than 30 grams of carbs or less than 5% of their daily calories to achieve nutritional ketosis. This state of ketosis is what changes your physiology, how your body and brain create energy and dramatically changes your metabolism. Now to some that sounds extreme, but really all you have to do is hear the dramatic reports of people putting their psychiatric conditions into remission and, and completely transforming their lives to realize it's not hard at all. These people will gladly skip the bread and the pasta to get their lives back. So what's the takeaway? Ketosis and low carb aren't the same thing and, and researchers, doctors shouldn't talk about them as if they are, we know better. So if you want to learn more about the safety and efficacy of ketogenic therapy for treating mental illness or dementia, subscribe to our channel and watch our videos at Metabolic Mind, a nonprofit initiative of Bazooki Group. And please remember our channels for informational purposes only. We're not providing individual or group medical or healthcare advice or establishing a provider patient relationship. Many of the interventions we discuss can have dramatic or potentially dangerous effects if done without proper supervision. So consult your healthcare provider before changing your lifestyle or medications. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Brett Schur, and we'll see you here next time at Metabolic Mind.